As a former chairman of the Greater Little Rock Chamber of Commerce, I was well aware of the large site needed to attract industrial businesses to Greater Little Rock. One of the longtime barriers to a 1,500-acre super site was the Little Rock National Airport navigation cone installed back in 1947. For years, the city had attempted to persuade the FAA to decommission the cone or relocate it. This didn't happen. Furthermore, this old school style of analog navigation beacon was required for a portion of the C-130 fleet at Little Rock Air Force Base. Always interested in a challenge, I asked my team to work with Senator John Bozeman's office and make a good faith effort to move the VOR cone. In just over a year, we were successful. We had persuaded the FAA to move the VOR cone, arranged to retrofit a used one from California, located and tested a new site north of the Arkansas River, and arranged for a mix of financial resources. And now we're in those final phases that will lead to a full relocation of the cone in the coming years. I know you remember very well how frustrated both of us were in trying to navigate federal agencies, especially the FAA and others in, in Washington, to try to just at least get an answer, to get people to talk to us. Congressman Hill not only opened doors and created meetings, he created real movement so that we could not only talk about moving the cone and expanding the port and adding thousands of new jobs to this area, it's actually about to take place. Well, you know, he got something done. Immediately we had, we had support from the Federal Aviation Administration. We began putting a process together to move the cone and we are making progress. If you have an idea about improving our community that you believe I could help with in Congress, please contact me by visiting my website at hill.house.gov or by calling my office in Little Rock at 501-324-5941. It's my job to represent the great people of our state and I look forward to hearing from you.